I am done with the Metro Manila Film Festival for 2015. I watched 7 out of 8 movies because I just don't care about Haunted Mansion. I'm sorry. Beauty and the Besties, directed by Wen V. De Ramas, written by Mel Del Rosario, and stars Faiz Ganda, Coco Martin, Nadine Lustre, and James Reed. And in Beauty and the Bestie, you've got a photographer named Erica, played by Faiz Ganda, and a spy of sorts named Emma, and played by Coco Martin. And Emma recruits Erica to play the decoy of Miss Zeklovakia, a beauty pageant contestant who was kidnapped by terrorists because they look exactly alike. And I have a lot of friends who dislike Vice Ganda, and I can understand why they do, but I was interested in watching this movie because I had seen previously before uh, Girl Boy Bakla Tomboy, which I surprisingly enjoyed, so I was curious going into this movie. And honestly, Beauty and the Bestie is a really difficult movie to talk about because on the one hand, it's really silly, Vice Ganda and Coco Martin are really good in it, but it also just misses just as often as it hits, so it's kind of a mixed bag. But I will give credit where credit is due. Uh, when the Ramesses movies with Vice Ganda are the only mainstream ones nowadays that seem to intentionally use lots of bright colors, outrageous production design, and silly sound effects for real absurd humor that does frequently cross over into satirical territory. And some of it really is effective. I mean, the fact that they created their own Middle Eastern country here, uh, Ozeklovakia, reminded me a lot of Borat, so it might offend quite a few people, but you have to admit there are certain moments where the satire kind of is effective. But while this satirical edge is the movie's strongest suit, it's also its biggest weakness because there are times when it becomes clear that this satirical edge that Beauty and the Best Bestie uh, possesses is still somewhat trapped inside that which it seems to be poking fun at because this movie seems to be making fun of modern uh, Filipino filmmaking conventions but at the same time there is still a lot of product placement in the movie the movie kind of misses just as often as it hits like I said um, and still has obligatory elements that you might find in a typical MMFF entry but again there are really some scenes that are really kind of daring especially the opening gag which makes fun of the whole piracy is a crime commercial with Derek Ramsey and I thought that was amazing um, Unfortunately though, after that, the movie kind of takes a really long time to get going. I think there's too much time spent on some unfunny gags and some side characters who really aren't that entertaining and as a result, you kind of lose time with uh, Vice Ganda and Coco Martin because when they're on screen together, it's really, really good. This movie also makes use of this ex exaggerated fast motion editing style that just doesn't really work. But again, because the movie is so self-aware and so absurd, Part of me wonders if all of this is completely intentional on the part of the filmmakers. And to the movie's credit, a lot of the jokes, especially during the last two thirds, really, really work, and I found myself consistently laughing. And Vice Ganda is definitely a very controversial comedian, um, and she's definitely a love her or hate her uh, kind of actress. But when her jokes land, they really do land. She has seemingly inexhaustible charisma and some actual dramatic skill when the scene calls for it. But to me, Coco Martin stole the show because I just was not expecting him to be this goofy. And he really pulls it off. He embraces the absurdity of this movie and he embraces the fact that people make fun of his lisp, which is awesome. But the most impressive thing was, was that he was able to sell the action. Whenever he was in an action scene, it really seemed like he was doing his own stunts and he made it work. And I really, really like Nadine Lustre. Aside from the fact that she's really attractive, her acting is very consistent and she does get quite funny as well. My issue here in terms of actors is James Reed. I just don't really like the guy. He's not funny in the movie, he's not particularly charming to me, he's just kind of annoying with his whole bad boy image. But the most surprising thing here with Wendy Ramses' direction is the real stunt work and action scenes that happen in this movie. I mean, there's still some pretty bad CGI uh, during these scenes, but in terms of like, in the context of the Philippine cinema, it's surprisingly competent. When the Ramis' style is all over the place in this movie, but again, maybe it's intentional. That's why it's so hard to talk about the movie. In the end, I think Beauty and the Bestie is just an okay movie. It's definitely a lot of fun, but I really wish When the Ramas and Vice Ganda could come together again for a movie with an R rating. You know, not to be constricted anymore by this MMFF stuff, and just really see how far they can take the satire. All right, so those are my thoughts on Beauty and the Bestie. Have you guys seen it? What do you think about it? Whether you agree with me or not, please leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation.